today our topic is climate of india in that one advancing monsoon and retreating monsoon what is that one advancing monsoon and retreating monsoon first we will discuss about the advancing monsoon the climate of india influenced by the what monsoon winds the climate of india influenced by the monsoon winds the traders who came to our country the sailors or traders who came to our country while crossing the seas and oceans they observe the seasonal reverse winds they observe the seasonal reverse winds through this coast only they have reached our indian coast through this sea routes and winds with the help of winds and the coastal areas they reach to the indian coast so slowly the arab sailors came to our country along with them later they have kept the name to this one as called as a monsoon what monsoon it came from mausam monsoon word it came from the what mausam it is a arabic word it is a what type of word is it is a arabic word means what do you mean by arabic word the mausam or monsoon nothing but seasonal changes seasonal changes the climate of india influenced by the what monsoons the which we can find the traders sailors who came to our country well along they have observed the what winds how they are having the directions on the basis of they have seen with the help of that seas and the winds only they reached to our indian coastal line the later on arabs came to our country while coming to our country they observed this on the what seasonal winds they kept the name that is called what monsoon it is a what monsoon derived from the mausam it is a arabic word meaning seasonal changes no the monsoon the monsoon which are forms at the tropical zones the monsoon which are forms where at the tropical zones tropical area from where 20 degrees north latitude to the 20 degrees south latitude the monsoon are forms where at the tropical tropical means what from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn we can find so exact they have mentioned for as what from 20 degrees north latitude to 20 degrees south latitude the south east monsoon winds what the south east monsoon winds which uh, from the southern hemisphere from where the south east monsoon winds from the southern hemisphere carry the moisture over the indian ocean to the equatorial low pressure belts to the equatorial low pressure belts which one the south east monsoon winds from the southern hemisphere carry the moisture over the indian ocean to the equatorial low pressure belts from equatorial low pressure what will happen here the winds will be deflect here the winds will be deflect from the equatorial low pressure to the it will be moved to where on the indian subcontinent where on the indian subcontinent here due to the high temperature or heavy heat here what happened it creates a low pressure for us it create for us what as a low pressure for us when it create low pressure especially in india as a where central india and gangetic plains along with the tibetan plateau where the, we can find the tibet place and the altitude of the 9 km 9 km of the altitude with vertical air this we can find here how it affects due to the south east monsoon winds which from the southern hemisphere carry the moisture over the indian ocean to the equator low pressure belts and if you take the peninsular india which one the peninsular india have the two branches the peninsular india having how many branches here we can find two branches one is arabian sea branch next is bay of bengal branch bay of bengal branch due to the southwest monsoon we can call advancing monsoon as a southwest monsoon or onset monsoon three names are there advancing monsoon or southwest monsoon or onset monsoon due to the southwest monsoon here see what happened the when it strike the to the bengal coast from the bay of bengal to the bengal coast 
here we can find the bengal coast from the bengal coast if you find here uh, we can find a slight uh, like here Meg bangladesh up we can find here some part of meghalaya to the meghalaya what here shillong plateau to the meghalaya shillong plateau to the south of here to the south of here we can find garo and kasi hills garo and kasi hills here you can find the most world the best place in the world which one we can find as a masindram and chirapunji masindram and chirapunji with the average of the 1141 cm we can find the more and more rainfall here to the south of where shillong plateau especially if you take garo and khasi hills and these will be strike from here to again to the gangetic plain from east to the western part to the gangetic plain from the east to the from the bengal coast east to the western area so if you take from east to west what will happen here the rainfall will be here reducing for us from here to here as well as if you take gujarat state or thar desert we can find very very less rainfall in the area due to the southwest monsoon from the east to the western part if you observe very clearly and which area will get the more and more higher rainfall due to the southwest monsoon is very very important point for us due to the southwest monsoon for us in our country western ghats will get the very high rainfall where western ghats will get the very high rainfall as the deccan plateau will become here what rain shadow here why because we already learned in the ninth class about the different types of rainfalls are there convection rainfall orographic rainfall cyclonic rainfall as you know see if you find for example this is the mountain thing here the all the waters are there. due to the evaporation of the water it form the clouds the clouds will be travel from thousands of kilometers while traveling what happen here the mountain will be restrict the clouds what will happen as you are going from the sea level to the high for every 1000 meters the temperature will be fall down for us how much 6 degrees celsius so on the basis of when the cloud will touch the cool air it is unable to bear the water which having the tree droplets reduce as the rainfall more and more so here we will get the what as a orographic rainfall same thing happen here in the western ghats when the clouds will be attack on to this ghats the western ghats will be restrict to them so that is why here the deccan plateau will become some the part of for us what as a rain shadow area we will get rainfall but when you compare to here we will get here low rainfall for us here western ghats will get the very high rainfall as well as in the north east high peaked hills meghalaya state garo and khas hills sri lanka the southern part again if you take from bengal coast to the eastern part from ganga plain western part thar desert rajasthan gujarat will get less rainfall for example we can take as a jaisalmer so we will get one more question the bulk of annual rainfall received to our country by which monsoon the bulk of annual rainfall received to our country by which monsoon means southwest monsoon only we have to write the answer another names are what advancing monsoon southwest monsoon or onset monsoon and here next we will discuss about the retreating monsoon advancing monsoon if we observe the map very clearly as per this map we can find the first starting the southwest monsoon state june 1st it reaches to kerala state and shillong plateau to the south we can find in the north east states we can see very clearly 5th june we can find karnataka state and ap state 10 june maharashtra it reaches to telangana odisha it goes to the again bihar like this 1st july gujarat rajasthan and it goes to some other states 15 july if you observe rajasthan we can find very clearly 5th june bangladesh we can find here 25th may andaman nicobar islands and here if you find uh, bhubaneswar kolkata some other they have given very clear mention in the part of this states advancing monsoon october hit This is the part under the retreating monsoon only. Here, October and November, October 
and November is the transition period for us. Transition period from hot weight conditions to dry winter conditions. From hot weight conditions to dry winter conditions. And here you can find the clear sky, rise in temperature. Increase the here the what along with the temperature humidity and weather become a rather oppressive. Weather become a rather oppressive. So that is called what? As a October heat. Very, very, very important for one more question examination purpose. October and November is a what? For us as a transition period. From hot weight conditions to the dry winter conditions to change. And the sky will be very clear, pleasant weather atmosphere and rise in the temperature as well as in the humidity also. And here what will happen? The weather become a rather oppressive. This is called what? Owing to these conditions, the October heat will be occur for us here. Next, retreating monsoon. From the northeast trade winds which we can find as a retreating monsoon, till now discuss about the southwest monsoon or advancing monsoon or onset monsoon. The bulk of annual rainfall received to our country by which one? By the southwest monsoon only. So here, by the uh, by the June month, by the June first, by the June first, at the end of the June month, completely entire the country will be spread the southwest monsoon. The June first will be hit first way to the Kerala state. At the June first, first it will hit to the Kerala state, including islands, including islands. If you take means. Andaman Nicobar area if you take means by May 25th only it will hit which one the southwest monsoon which one the southwest monsoon if including all the islands means it hit first May 25th to the where Andaman Nicobar islands if you take the Indian mainland it hit first where Kerala by the end of the June month the southwest month will be spread all over the India or till July first week we can take if you take the including island means the May 25th Andaman area if you take the mainland of India means June first. So here, next uh, north east trade winds or we can call them as the retreating winds. It will be end at the way in the northwest part of our country and slowly it hit to the Bay of Bengal area. It will hit to the way Bay of Bengal area. Due to this one, what will happen here? It occurs tropical cyclones for us. It occurs for us what for us tropical cyclones. Due to these cyclones and depressions, due to these cyclones and depressions, we will get the very heavy rainfall. We will get the very heavy rainfall. To which region? Especially Tamil Nadu state. Especially Tamil Nadu state, Koramandal coast. Where? Koramandal coast and southern part of the AP, Odisha and West Bengal state will get the heavy rainfall due to the, this one cyclones and depressions occurs. And here due to the southwest monsoon, which area will become dry, we have to be confirmed that also very very important. Due to the southwest monsoon, the whole India will get the rainfall, especially if you take an example, Tamil Nadu and Koramandal coast will become dry for us. Due to the northeast monsoon or retreating monsoon, which state will get the more and more rainfall means Tamil Nadu state, Koramandal coast area will get the heavy rainfall. Every year without strike of the cyclones will be never goes back this eastern coastal plain of our country including the Bangladesh it will hit for us including the Bangladesh it will hit for us next if you take here uh, which we can call as a Bengal and at the Sundaris uh, Sundarban deltas which we can call the largest delta in the world which we can call as a Sundarban delta it is very near to the West Bengal state only. The Sundari trees will grow here very well. The Sundari trees will grow here very well. So, on the name of Sundari trees, it is called as a Sundarban Delta, which due to the indo gantic rivers and uh, the delta has found here. It is the largest delta in the world we can find. The Sundarbans are the what? Home of Royal Bengal Tiger. Home of Royal Bengal tiger understood the northeast monsoon or retreating monsoon which strike to the bay of bengal from there it has carried the moisture to the southern part 
to the Indian Ocean to the Eastern Coastal Plain of our country, which starts from the where Tamil Nadu, Coromandel Coast, AP Sarkar Coast, Odisha Utkal Coast to the Bengal Coast. No, every year it will be go to free of the cyclone strike here. Every year will be strike, especially highly density population areas. Highly density population areas means what will come here? Krishna Delta, Godavari Delta, Kaveri Delta. These are all what deltas which are formed due to the rivers here. Very very fertile. Why they are having highly density population? Why they are having highly density population? Due to the having what here? Abundant rainfall, good irrigation, soil fertility. So people are here concentrated more and more here. So these deltas are also affecting the more and more due to the here. Due to the cyclones and depressions. Uh, the which area will get the more and more rainfall means Coromandel coastal area or Tamil Nadu we can take the answer due to the southwest monsoon which where will get the more and more high rainfall means the bulk of our country entire the nation will get except the Tamil Nadu and the Coromandel coast we can take the translation of the point here. Now we will discuss about the six two Indian seasons tradition we will discuss about that one. First of all, uh, Vasantaratu, Grishmaratu, Varsharatu, Sharadratu, Hemanta, Shishira. These we will discuss about the as per lunar calendar and here Gregorian calendar means English calendar Gregorian calendar Vasanta as per the Telugu or lunar calendar Chandra Mas we can call that one here we will get Chaitram Vaishakam if you take English months March and April next in the month of Grishma Jaishtam Ashadam, Shravanam, Badrapadam, Ashwaijam, Kartikam, Margasiram, Pushyam, Magam, Palgun. Vasanta Ritu, Chaitram, Vaishagam, as per lunar calendar, Drishma Ritu, Jaishtam, Ashadam, Varsha Ritu, Shravanam, Badrapadam, Shradutu, Ashrajam, Kartikam, Hemanta, Margashiram, Pushyam, Shishira, Magam, Palgam. If you take the English as per the Gregorian calendar, March and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Here examination point of view for us. They will view in examination for us. An examination as an information skill, as a box, tabular formula. So they may be asked as a multiple choice question or one more question in examination point of view. When the six seasons we can find, the Vasanta, Grishma, Varsha, Sharad, Hemanta, Shishira, they may give this season and in the multiple choice question they may be asked as per the Vasanta season what which months would be fall under the Gregorian calendar which months if you take the Vasanta season means March and April when as per Gregorian calendar July and August these will be comes under the which season Varsha Ritu for example Margasharam Pushyam is there as per Telugu calendar which season will come or what months will come under the Gregorian calendar for us so we have to be uh, learn the complete box very very important for us Vasantaratu, Chaitram, Vaishakam the as per Gregorian calendar March and April Grishma as per lunar calendar Jaishtam, Ashadam, May and June as per Gregorian calendar Varsha, Shravanam, Badr July, August will come as per the Gregorian calendar Sharadrutu, Hemanta, Shishra like this all we have to 
learn perfectly about this tabular formula for us. Six seasons are there. Six to the lunar calendar and six to the Gregorian calendar as per the months we can find very clear in the on the board. Here. What are monsoons? Monsoon refers to tropical and subtropical seasonal reversal in both the surface winds and associated precipitation caused by differential heating between a continental scale landmass and the adjacent ocean. Now, let us have a look over the regions on the earth where monsoon occurs. Monsoons mainly occur in the regions of South Asia. The other regions include parts of equatorial Africa, East and Southeast Asia, Northern Australia and to a lesser extent in the Southwestern United States. However, the most well-known monsoon occurs over Indian subcontinent. Now let us take up monsoons of India in detail. The intertropical convergence zone where the northeast trade winds and southeast trade winds converge in a low pressure zone moves to the north of equator and establishes itself over the Indian subcontinent during the month of July. The southeast trade winds after crossing the equator are deflected to the right by the Coriolis force forming the southwest monsoons. These pick up the moisture while travelling from sea to land and cause orographic rain once they hit the highlands of the Indian Peninsula. This results in the southwest monsoon. The monsoonal winds after reaching the Indian Peninsula split into two branches, the Arabian branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea branch causes rain all along the western coast. The Bay of Bengal branch strikes at the West Bengal coast and the southern slopes of Shillong Plateau. It merges with the Bay of Bengal branch over the Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. The southwest monsoon sets in over the Kerala coast by 1st June and moves swiftly to cover the entire subcontinent by 15 July. The weather conditions all over the country change with the onset of the monsoon winds. The season will be characterized by high heat, high humidity, extensive clouding and several spells of moderate to heavy rains with strong surface winds. The ITCZ gradually starts moving to the south of equator. Now we see a total reversal in the direction of the trade winds. The continent cools rapidly forming a large area of high pressure over North Central Asia known as the Siberian High and a smaller area over India. Now the drier Colder air of the continent blows offshore creating the dry monsoon season. The monsoon starts retreating from the northwest India by September and withdraws completely from the region, except the southern peninsula by mid-October. Unlike the sudden burst of the advancing monsoons, the withdrawal is rather gradual and takes about three months. The retreating monsoon picks up moisture from the Bay of Bengal and establishes over the Tamil Nadu coast and the east coast of Sri Lanka. The Tamil Nadu coast, which remains dry during the southwest monsoon period, receives its rainfall from the northeast monsoons in the month of December. During the winters, a jet stream known as subtropical westerly jet stream blows in an eastward direction south of Himalayas. This jet stream brings in the western disturbances from the Mediterranean coast which causes winter rains over the northern India. Likewise, the tropical easterly jet stream sets over central India in the monsoonal months. The high temperature over the Tibetan plateau as well as over central Asia in general during the summer helps in the formation of this jet over India. This jet creates a low pressure zone over the northern Indian plains influencing the wind flow towards these plains and thus assists in the establishment of the southwest monsoon.
the tropical easterly jet stream steers in the rain bearing tropical cyclones which cause widespread rainfall over the eastern coast of india indian monsoon in this module you will understand the concept of indian monsoon explain the factors that determine the typicality of indian monsoon and also explain the role of monsoon in indian economy monsoon indian monsoon to the poets it is magical it is dramatic in fact it really is dramatic let us see what a monsoon is monsoon is a periodic seasonal wind that comes from sea to land in a particular season and completely reverses back with the change in the atmospheric conditions in the next season it is a typical yet dominant feature of the indian climate the term monsoon is derived from an arabic word mawsim which means season in olden days the sailors found this wind convenient to set in their sails on the direction of the wind they used to save their fuel and time by doing so let us discuss the causes of this seasonal reversal of wind from sea to land and land to sea the main cause is the differential heating and cooling of land and its surrounding water bodies that is seas and oceans during summer land is hotter and thus low pressure develops over interior parts of the large indian landmass simultaneously high pressure condition develops over the seas and oceans surrounding india thus a steady flow of moisture laden wind moves towards india and causes rainfall for almost 3 months as the pressure system reverses due to apparent shifting of the sun from the tropic of cancer to the equator the wind also reverses back to the same direction from where it comes there is another interesting fact that the apparent movement of the sun from the tropic of cancer in june to the tropic of capricorn in december affects the global climate the pressure belts and the wind systems change globally the maximum effect can be noticed on the equatorial belt here the northeast and southeast trade winds converge and thus it is also called as the intertropical convergence zone or itcz so due to the apparent movement of the sun this itcz shifts 5 degrees north during summer and 5 degrees south during winter The ITCZ is pushed further north till the Ganga basin due to the differential heating and cooling of the Indian landmass and its surrounding water bodies during the monsoon season. We call it as a monsoon trough. The intense low pressure system formed over the Tibetan plateau attracts air from the intense high pressure system that develops over Indian Ocean near Madagascar island of Africa. This causes a strong pull of moisture laden air mass from ocean to the land mass of India. While the shifting of the ITCZ, the pressure system reverses causing the reversal of wind. Around the same time, the movement of upper air circulation or the jet streams also affects the summer and winter monsoons of India. The global climatic events of changing pressure system over oceans have tremendous effect on the arrival, duration, amount and retreat of monsoon in India. The equatorial belt or the tropical region of the Pacific and Indian Oceans faces the maximum effects. Usually, the situation is like when the southeastern Pacific has low pressure and high temperature. The eastern Indian Ocean has high pressure and low temperature. but the situation reverses roughly in 3 to 8 years this reversal of temperature and pressure condition across the ocean is called as southern oscillation due to vast uninterrupted ocean in the southern hemisphere the conditions are felt more than in the northern hemisphere the normal condition brings moderate to good monsoon whereas the reverse condition brings drought and famine to the asian region el nino and la nina are the two opposite ends of the southern oscillation or SO cycle. El Nino is the warm phase of southern oscillation and La Nina is the cold phase of southern oscillation. These deviations from normal surface temperatures can have large scale impacts not only on ocean processes but also on global weather and climate. This climatic event is also known as ENSO. El means El Nino and SO means southern oscillation. During El Nino the monsoon will be weaker and comes late in India as summer is cooler and the surrounding sea and ocean temperature remain warmer than the usual 
the Peruvian cold current is replaced by a warm current. Therefore, the pull of air from the landmass would be weak. The La Nina is good for monsoon condition as the temperature over the sea remains cooler and pressure difference between land and sea is very high. So, the pulling of air mass from sea to land is very intense. El Nino and La Nina events occur on average every two to seven years. The arrival of the monsoon rain in India is the most satisfying and joyous moment for the people of India. This is more because India is an agricultural country and the economic growth of each year depends on the amount and duration of monsoon rain. Delays and long breaks in monsoon rain are dangerous for the basic occupations such as farming, fishing and forestry. This is because chances of drought and famine increase. On the other hand, a long spell of heavy rain may damage standing crops with the increased threats of flood. The secondary sector of the economy, like the agro-based industry, also depends on monsoon, as the supply of their raw material is governed by a good spell of rain. The market will remain steady with a good monsoon year with stable price of food products, whereas a bad monsoon season will cause inflation, food insecurity and public unrest. Monsoon is a unifying bond of the nature and lifestyle of India. The rivers and ponds rejuvenate with rainwater. The soil and underground water table get support to hold moisture and water and the parched plant and animal kingdoms become lively with the monsoon shower. The green nature of monsoon-fed India has inspired poets and artists to create rich poetry and paintings that add to our rich cultural heritage. Let's recap. Monsoon is a periodic seasonal wind. It blows from sea to land in one season and reverses back in the next season. The term monsoon is derived from an Arabic word mosim, which means season. The main cause is the differential heating and cooling of land and its surrounding water bodies, that is seas and oceans. The reversal of temperature and pressure condition across the ocean is called as southern oscillation. El Nino and La Nina are the two opposite ends of the southern oscillation. El Nino is the warm phase and La Nina is the cold phase. India is an agricultural country and the economic growth of each year depends on the amount and duration of monsoon rain. Delays and long breaks in monsoon rain increase the chance of drought and famine. On the other hand, a long spell of heavy rain increases the threats of flood. Monsoon is a unifying bond of the nature and lifestyle of India.